Uh, there's something comforting about like being in control of where you're going. You know, a lot of skate trips, you kind of are just in the back of the van, and are like, you know, a lot of a lot of these things we do. A lot of the time, I'm gone. Are are like scheduled out. Like everything's like, wake up at this time, try to go skate here, 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 or, or signing at this time. And it's weird, you know. You're in the back of a van, and you just kind of go wherever they take you. Obviously, you kind of talk about it and stuff. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're just like go with the flow and end up where you end up. I don't know, that's why driving after kind of coming back, there's some, it's comforting. It's just everything, listening to music, being on my own schedule. So it's nice kind of being not at the mercy of a 12 person group. Even though they're all my friends, but it's still nice to have some alone time. I think like trying to balance it out is definitely needed for some like mental reasons. <laughs> I'm going insane being in a band. This is the old house, the Jefferson residence. Still got the key. This is the Braj Mahal. Jerry took this photo. Really? This is the best dude ever, Carmela. What up? Let's show him your coverage. That's you, Mello. Still got it. I stayed here off and on randomly for like a year. I still stay every once in a while, but it's cool. You know, Tiva's always like, he like helped me kind of transition out here, you know, just like Mikey and Mo. He was like a really good friend that was like, hey, you know, you can stay here. Like my house is open, whatever you need. Like here's a key, which was really cool. That like helped me a lot to like have a spot, you know, to kind of relax and hang out. The crew that was cycling through, you know, we sometimes were all here at the same time, which was awesome, but the crew that was like always around was Atiba, Nuge, Wilder, and Dylan Reeder, and me. It was sick when we were all here together, but that was real rare, you know, because everyone's busy and it was just like a mashup. This was my room for a while. This place is sick. I got LeBron, Jamie Thomas, Kobe Bryant, Terry Kennedy. It's sick though, yeah. this place, like you close it off here and like, it's like solitary confinement and you just can sleep forever, blacks out. And it's like, I don't know, a small room like that. It's nice, it feels cozy. Usually Saturday involves street skating, but <laughs> kind of just chilling today. This is domestic life in LA. This is full domestic life. <laughs> Lots of domestic is my uh, though. That's true. I do have a chihuahua and a girlfriend. We're going up the valley to go hiking. <laughs> Pretty insane. In between my schedule and his schedule, it's we've fun. gotten really lucky though. Like oddly lucky with my work and his work. It kind of sometimes lands on the same day in different cities or it takes a little extra planning yeah. too, that's for sure. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we try and get a, a solid week a month. It's hard because skating takes up majority of the life, so. I feel like my life, if I didn't have skating, would be fairly boring. I'd probably drive her insane. Saw Lamar Odom up here last time. He was looking pretty healthy too. You could go out on the street. You know how we always do. Mm -hmm. Does she? Can she walk the whole time? Yeah. Well, it's not she's not, she's not problems. I know she's old though. She's not old. She's five. That's kind of old. For her. <laughs> I mean, she, wait, what is the dog first? She acts old. Yeah, she does. Maybe we'll get a Beeble sighting. <laughs> He's been coming up here. Really? Yeah. 
I can't get my foot up there right now. No, let's stretch up top. Come on, stretch Bella has to pee. Stretch it's gonna get stretched out walking. Come on, just do it a little. Come on. Come on. I'm already tired. We're only doing one workout because you have to press for time. What time is it? Just little baby ones. I was here for like a week and a half and then I went to Dubai for two and a half weeks. I'm here this week and then I leave again for three weeks. I'm gonna do a little vacay with the lady and then we go shoot a day in the life with Nike. Back to Kansas City, SF for a demo trip, South by Southwest, and then maybe I'll come home but I might go to Portland for a little bit just to work on some Nike stuff. That span is three weeks but it's like five different things, you know. That's what I feel like right now. You know, she's been doing these hikes way longer than I have. And uh... I feel cool when I find skate spots. So, now, since she's dating me, she kind of like sees me trip on stuff and pull over and look at things. And Yeah, it's funny because she'll text me stuff that is like way not possible to skate. Some of them are a little far-fetched, I feel like. Yeah. I'm like, that'd be so cool because I used to play like Rocket Power. That's cool, I see like all this different stuff now around the city that I never saw before, which is cool. So now when I go out, I look at stuff, I'm like, oh, John would skate that. Hey, that thank you, Sam, that was really cool, it was like this. He went forward, that's what he did, he was a bunch, and he was like, he ran forward, and pushes me, and then go back. That hurts. The thing is, my ankle is like, if a doctor were to look at it, they'd be like, oh, it's 100% healthy, like. But skating is a lot different than walking down a hill, jumping down 10 stairs and, you know, sk even skating a flat bar, like a front feeble takes a lot for your ankle to bend. Like, side to side is all right. Doing switch flips is fine. But taking impact and like, that, that motion of, that, it jams in the front. So, I, if I skate at my own pace, I feel cool, you know? But when it's someone like, all right, go. Or if I get a hot pocket and I need to sit down for five minutes, like a contest, you don't really have that. You don't have that extra time. And that's what's scary to me right now. Hopefully that goes away. I've airballed like six times already. Damn, you're all good. You've been shooting a lot? Dude, all I do is shoot. It's like... You can jump off that? Yeah. Can you jump off it? Yeah, but it's embarrassing. Okay. okay. That's not bad. Mike Mo was there for my first switch flip. Flicking off those ligaments again is so weird and scary. Like, I didn't even try one until Mike was like, yeah, you know, have you, you know, like, have you tried it? And I was kind of sitting there like, I don't know, I don't know. I was just like, scared. Then you do it and it kind of hurts, but you're like all psyched and then you keep doing it. And then I airballed like 20 of them just cause I was scared to turn my ankle. <laughs> I was trying to switch flip, just like no movement in there. I see Mike Mo way less than I used to. He's not like going to the barracks or we're not like going on street missions or going on trips or anything. Cause he's been hurt, so he's been laid up and I know how it feels to kind of be lonely on a couch. So I try to go and say what's up, go eat or whatever, just kind of keep him company. When was the first time I met? Was it in Canada? Did we meet in Canada or, or did we meet at Paul's house? I'm thinking San Diego. I thought I met you at Paul's house before. I think that was the first time. No, it was Canada, right? At the airport. Our, fir our first photo together was at Hooters, the Hooters jig. Sam Smythe took it. Yep. Yeah. We were both... Uh, 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah. That trip was like... Pretty? There's an all-star roster, right? Like... McCrank, mm -hmm. Costin... Rick and Mike, all those dudes are shredding, but like we, it was like me and you, like we're holding our breath around those dudes, but like then we'd go skate flat by ourselves and be like, oh, 
All right, I can actually skate. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. Like to meet all them on that trip. It's like tryouts. Cause Canada was like, we were flow. And then we got on right after Canada when that video came out, that tour video came out. And then they did Badass Meets Dumbass. That was a month long road trip. We roomed together. Yeah, we became good friends. Yeah, that was the one that like really started it. <laughs> yeah. Did we bring them the idea where we like we want a best friends board? I think. Well, but remember, what was it? Because did it have something to do with Jerry Jeremy's necklace at yeah. all? Yeah. Because he had one of those. Where like that'd be sick if we had like ones that connected. Yeah, we were like talking about like yeah. splitting it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then they just made boards yeah, instead. The, yeah. So it says best friends. Me and Malto. I don't know, man. They're yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Super sick. <laughs> we should do another collab board. Should we get another best friends board going? Yeah. yeah.